Well, hello and welcome to Producer Dan. I'm Dan. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. So today's video is about Easy Drummer software. Easy Drummer is a virtual instrument that I use in my productions. And uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because if you don't know or have access to a really good drummer, then Easy Drummer is the next best thing. So let's open up Easy Drummer now and I'll show you how to start using it. And after that, we will start writing a song from scratch using the Easy Drummer software. So here we are in a Pro Tools session for the song Zombies by my good friend Vicky Andres. And I'll be doing a video on this song as well, uh, either in the future or before this video comes out. Um, but I brought it up because I wanted to show you the drum track that I did. This was one of my first projects that I did, one of my first successful projects, in my mind anyway. And I noticed a big difference in the sound of my mixes. Uh, after I started using Easy Drummer, I would normally just kind of manufacture my own drums uh, with, with MIDI tracks, and uh, this was a game changer. And I'm, I'm happy with the drums as a song, particularly at the end, and I'll play you the last verse and the outro. Okay, so I showed you that because there's a lot going on in the drums and I'm kind of proud of it actually. Um, I really did put a lot of stuff together you can see. I, I cut things down, I put things together, I made uh, my fills. I got very creative particularly at the end here. I'll, I will solo this for you and play it again so you can just hear and look and see what's happening again. Notice the tambourine, and notice the timing of the tambourine here change. Completely changes the groove of the song. That fill was excellent. and the nice uh, cymbal mute at the end. So uh, I'm very happy with that. Now, let's go into a, a blank session and let's write a song uh, using Easy Drummer. Okay, I've opened up Easy Drummer and I guess we'll just start from the top. Um, I'll do my best to explain this uh, to you. I don't know how good of a teacher I am, but um, if you're new to Easy Drummer, um, I'll try and show you the basics without getting uh, too confusing and without trying to show you too much. So, but it's very simple to use. You literally just plug it into your DAW as if you would any plug-in, and uh, it uses a stereo track, an instrument track, uh, and I'll show you that down the road, but I've opened it in standalone mode now. So, first of all, when you buy Easy Drummer, it comes with two uh, drum kits, the Easy Drummer Modern and the Easy Drummer Vintage. And then there are different sounds, genres, different settings uh, for each uh, drum kit. Uh, this is the Modern Drum Kit. Here is what the Vintage uh, Basic Drum Kit looks like. So it's pared down, uh, it's a little older looking, and it's older sounding too. Uh, they actually used a completely different console to record these drum sounds. It's a, they used a very rare vintage uh, console in the studio when they recorded this particular drum set. So it has a very distinctive uh, old vintage sound. But we're going to start with the modern drum set. 
Uh, does it take the place of a real drummer? No, no, it doesn't. Uh, especially if you're used to playing with a drummer and you know what they're going to do and you can kind of get into a musical groove with that person. Uh, there's nothing better than that, no. But you can uh, customize it and manipulate it to make it sound as realistic as possible. As you can see, I have one more drum set. That's the Dream Pop uh, drum kit that I purchased. It comes with two sets, uh, but you can uh, get the Easy X extensions that you can add on to uh, the, the two drum kits that come with it. And of course there's country, there's reggae, uh, there's like three or four different rock versions. Um, there are different bundles that you can get. I will tell you I paid $89 for this uh, Dream Pop Easy X extension. The starting version is $179 and you download it from the Tune Tracks uh, website. And along with all the drums and cymbals, of course, is different claps. If you click the drop down menu, you can see you have group claps, single claps, uh, group snaps, a single snap and uh, also a cowbell, which was new to me. I didn't realize they had a cowbell until, <laughs> until I started uh, doing some research for this video. I'm like, oh, they have a cowbell. Isn't that interesting? Because I have my own cowbell that I like to use, but um, this might be easier. Uh, in the sh shaker section, there are two different shakers. There's this one and this one. So different sound there. And then a set of maracas for you. Now, uh, you'll notice these buttons. You can control the volume and you can also control the pitch. And then here is the, the different velocities. And then of course the tambourine and there's two different tambourines. And I love to use the tambourine uh, along with Easy Drummer just because it gets it exact and you can tell it to do anything. Sixteenth notes, eighth notes, stress the two, stress the two and the four, stress the three. Of course, it's quantized, so it's just right on. The beat is right on. And everything comes through the mixer, uh, which is one of my favorite things. So not only can you control the velocity of all the drums, you can also change the volumes here, and each of those uh, settings, like every time you choose a different setting, whether it's an 80 sound or a 70 sound for your kit, it changes the parameters here in the mixer, whether it's the reverb, the compression, the pitch of the drums, the cymbals, uh, mic bleed. It includes mic bleed. You can control that. You can turn it on or off. So you can make it sound as, as realistic and vintage as possible, or you can really uh, come up with something really highly compressed and distorted. It's all up to you. It's so much fun. So that's the mixer. Let's go back a little bit here. I think I jumped ahead. So the next tab is the browser. This just kind of gives you a written version of what you can see in the search uh, in the search tab. For example, uh, Easy Drummer Modern. Then you can choose uh, whatever timing that you want, whether you want a straight 4-4. Four, four. Then it gives you the options of the genres. And you can choose from there. Let's say you want a verse. These are the different verse variations. So here are the different grooves. Uh, they're all different MIDI, MIDI files. You can play them by using this little arrow. That particular clip is uh, eight bars long, and the original tempo that it was recorded at is 147. And of course, you can change the tempo. They're not locked into any particular tempo, but that's the, the tempo that it was originally recording at, and it would sound probably the most natural, um, but I've never let that stop me from making any changes to, to tempo. Um, the tempo is listed here, and when you use Easy Drummer uh, in your DAW as an instrument on one of your tracks, um, the DAW will be the host uh, and will provide the tempo for Easy Drummer. 
And let's get back to the, the grooves. These are all different uh, grooves that have been recorded. And it uh, will kind of name the family that that's in. See, if I click on family, it'll line up the choices in order of their family name. For example, uh, this particular groove is a verse from a 60s ballad. Uh, and it's a closed hi-hat. It's in 3-4 time. And this particular MIDI file is 8 bars. And it's recorded at a uh, tempo of 87. So, so we'll do it this way. We'll, we will choose something from the modern. Uh, we will choose something from rock. Something with a straight 4-4 um, time. And then uh, let's line them up this way according to their family name. <laughs> so let's see. Here's a verse number three. Uh, let's play that and see what it sounds like. Okay, for the sake of um, demonstration, let's choose that one. We'll pull it down into the song window. You can see that it is eight measures long. Something also interesting, it comes with its own little fill here at the end. And of course you can change that. Like for example, here's a fill that's in the same family. Let's play that first. Kind of fun. So it's um it's one bar long. So if we pull it down, we can we can see that, and we can just place it right there, and it automatically takes it. As a matter of fact, you can place it anywhere. I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'll play it for you. Also, if you didn't want to use this entire uh, eight bars, uh, that can easily be shortened like this or you can cut it down by using the scissors, which I like to do sometimes. And if you wanted to remove this, you can just hit, come over here to this window and remove it, move this down. Also, you can highlight these both and you can, let's say I knew I wanted to keep that combination so I could come to this window and I can merge the two. That way I, I can move this now to anywhere in the song. I can, also, um, I can also copy that and repeat it. Like copy, I can paste it here and do several of them. Paste them, so now I have two. Let's, I, could, I could highlight them again, just like you would in any DAW. Now I'm gonna copy both of those and place them here, paste all. And let's say, you know, I wanted to keep everything like this all in one clip. Again, I can highlight them and merge them together. And so the reason I'm doing that is now I'm going to show you what you can do. Um, you can edit how the drums are played in the uh, edit play style window. Just by clicking this tab, uh, the edit play style window comes up and it highlights all the drums that are in this particular clip and when they're all highlighted like that you can change things all together for example you can change the velocity of how hard the drummer is hitting so right now it's set at zero I can turn it down see how that sounds more natural like the the drummer is actually hitting the, the drums uh, more softly. And then if we turn that up, and it gives you a number, and uh, that comes in handy. Uh, the number comes in handy so you can match different sections, because you're going to be doing this to different sections down here in the song window. Or you can, let's say I wanted to have the snare hit just a little lighter. I can do that just by singling that out. Now, uh, not only do we have a velocity control, but we can control how much the drum or cymbal 
or kick drum is played throughout the clip. I would do that by turning this lever down a bit and you can watch those little dots disappear. So you can see there are just so many different things you can do. So I'm going to remove this and we're going to start from scratch. So there is this really cool tap to find. So let's say you have a song that's already written and you know the beat that you want. Uh, you can tap to find that beat by using this. Okay, now I'm going to put in the bass drum. Okay, that's pretty common. So uh, let's have it show us some results for that. Obviously, there are a lot. This radio rock uh, is a perfect match for that uh, snare and bass drum combination. You know, there's another way we can do that. We can take this and put it in the MIDI drop zone, and it will pull up uh, even more perfect matches uh, for that particular groove. And so here we are. And I'm going to line them up by their name. So you have all of these different grooves to choose from. Different bridges. You have different choruses. Here's chorus one. Here is a different chorus version. Here's a nice example. I'll pull this down and we'll do some work on this one. Um, you can see the hi-hat is open on this. We can change that easily by uh, going into the edit play style by clicking this button. And here's the hi-hat. We can change that. It, right now it's set to open three. So there's five different opening settings. Or we can make it hit closed and have him hit at the tip. I'm not crazy about that. Actually, I like an open hi-hat. So let's go back to open one, perhaps, and see what that sounds like. So that's almost closed. We'll go back to two because it came that way. I like that one the best. Also, you'll notice that all of the clips have an opening hit, and that's what this is. And that can be turned on and off for all of these different clips. As we're building the song, we're going to be pulling down clips, and at the beginning of each clip, uh, it's going to be an opening hit, and you can turn that on and off. It's on now, and here it is. But I'll turn that off. Let's say I pulled down a second one of these or I, I copied this and repeated it. I don't necessarily want that opening hit uh, every uh, eight measures. So that's easily to control as well. One other thing you can do with the power hand, you can completely change that. Right now it's set on the hi-hat. We can move that to any of the symbols. We can also move it to a drum. Uh, but I'm going to move it to a ride symbol. Have it hit the bell. Let's see what other choices we have. We have the edge. Let's move this back over to our open hi-hat. Okay, so what I thought we would do now is uh, write a song, build a song by using the song creator. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do. Um, this is my first time actually doing using the song creator. Uh, in the past, I've kind of just uh, customized the drums to the song I, that I already had. But since we're starting from scratch, I thought it'd be fun to do it this way and uh, just to show you how easy it is. So um, down here at the bottom is the song creator. And I've already chosen something nice and upbeat, uh, a, a, a um, group of MIDI files called Up Tempo Rock. And it's at 173 beats per minute. And I wanted something around 175. So that will match perfectly. All the choices in that group will sound uh, very natural, 
played at that tempo. And here's a verse that I liked. So I thought we'd go with something kind of fun and punkish and fast and rock. And uh, so um, I'm going to choose something from this family. So I'm going to choose the song creator, and this opens up. And uh, what you do is you grab the MIDI that you want and you place it in the drop zone, and it will fill this with different choices of fills, choruses, bridges, verses within that group or, or, or something that will sound good uh, with that MIDI that you've chosen. So I'm going to choose this um, uh, up tempo rock chorus. I'm going to drop that in and you can see it's going to populate uh, the different intros, verses, pre-choruses and here are the different song structures and I've chosen one that has it's the ABC ABC long so we can make any changes after we pull it down into the song track so by clicking this little arrow we can load structure onto the track. And there it is, the opening, two verses, there's your pre-chorus and the chorus. And we could have made different choices here, but I'm going to just play what this is and, and let's listen to it. I know I'm going to love this already. Uh, I won't play the whole thing for you, but I'll, I'll play the different sections. Uh, for example, I do like the chorus, and I love how uh, it has the open hi-hat. Or here's the pre-chorus, rather. And it goes right into the chorus. There, I've zoomed out so you can see everything all in one track. So now that we do have the, um, the song structure all laid out, I am going to write a song uh, using this song structure. I will make some changes, perhaps in the fills, obviously in the velocity of the hits, but that'll all come down the road after we decide on the the riff uh, and, and what else is going into the song. Now since I want to save this as a project, I'll come to the menu at the top of the Easy Drummer and we're going to save project. I'm going to call it uh, Easy Drummer and so that will save the file on my desktop and I can come back to it anytime I want and make changes. At any time I can load this into the DAW and work on it in the DAW along with the instruments as well. So I hope this demonstration was uh, helpful to you. Um, I certainly do love Easy Drummer 2. I use it um, in all of my songs if there isn't a drummer. It's very user friendly. So uh, in the next video we'll get going on the uh, the guitar riffs and the bass part. Thank you for watching this one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Yeah!